All right, folks. Cannonball Cats on a budget Texas. Back again. Another firearm review. This is not an open box or an unboxing, of course, as there's no need. The firearm's sitting right here on the table. But uh, I have not had the pleasure of running this firearm yet. So this is just a brief overview of the firearm and what I've discovered and breakdown cleaning and uh, disassembly, reassembly, and just the firearm characteristics itself. I'll have to get back to you at a later date with the uh, range review and and uh, let you know how it goes. But essentially, uh, you folks can see this here. I'm going to clear it, bag it out. You can see the firearm is clear, no magazine, no rounds, no nothing and we are clear and we are safe to handle so what this firearm is i don't know if you can see that on the barrel there that says apx this is the new uh, updated edition of the beretta apx a1 full size this is not the APX uh, carry. This is the APX A1 full size. Uh, the the one previous to this was the APX. They call it the A0 or the original. You can easily see the differences just by viewing because the original A0 model full size had vertical serrations. These are the slanted serrations, and uh, that's the telltale sign when you when you see it in store and if you're thinking about a purchase on this. Uh, smoking deal on this firearm I couldn't resist the opportunity to put it in my stable and uh, see how it runs you know maybe uh, make make it one of my my EDCs but we'll see anyhow um, let's go ahead and squeeze the trigger on this firearm get that decocked and there's another way to do that and I'll show you in a minute but just want to go over a couple of characteristics of this firearm so first this firearm uh, is about 29 ounces out of the box it is a polymer uh, lower with a steel upper I don't know if this is carbon steel or stainless I believe it is stainless steel um, I don't know that but anyhow it, it has what's called an aqua coat on it which is a proprietary to Beretta uh, it's very much like a nitride a black nitride but it's uh, Beretta says it's stronger and more corrosion resistant it's all relative to how you handle your firearms of course uh, this firearm does come with an optics cut. It does not include optics plates. Um, for those of you that go out and purchase a firearm and it has an optic cut but requires optic plates for, uh, for the optics and you go out and you purchase that firearm and it doesn't come within the optic plates, quit griping, okay? Do your educating, know what you're getting into before you buy it and and understand what you got to do there's no reason to gripe about it do i think that this could have come with optic plates of course am i griping and complaining about it on the backside? no because i bought this and i went in and figured out what i was looking at and what i was getting and what was included prior to so that way i can't come back and claim that uh, they didn't tell me or this that and the other just remember ignorance is not a defense in any case or situation educate yourself Know what you're buying, know what's included in the package, and you'll live life a lot happier and a lot better. Anyway, there's my soapbox. Now I'm going to get off that right quick. Anyhow, so it does come with an optic cut. Uh, they do sell on their site numerous optic plates. I don't believe there's any aftermarket optic plates for this firearm. Uh, as of now, I'm not sure. There's also very limited holster supply on the A1 full size. Remember on this newer version, uh, this does not and is not compatible by what I'm seeing with a lot of the holster sites statements relating to the A1. They're, they're reflecting their holsters. If they have them for the Apex full size, they, they're reflecting them with that vertically cut serrated uh, slide and um, consider the A0. So, and they'll put in their notes not compatible with the A1 uh, models. So, Make sure you know what you're getting into with that also. Do your research, and, and I think that's the most important thing. Do your research and just educate yourself on what you're doing before you do it. Anyhow, uh, the firearm itself breaks down. Uh, 
it can be a little difficult, but it is, it is simplistic in nature. But but um, this one here is a little bit finicky, but I believe it just needs to break in a little bit and it's going to get easier and easier. But essentially, you've got this uh, lever right here that goes vertical. When you break it down, you've got this piece on the other side. And um, you've also got this little button right here. That's not a pin. That is, that's not. That is a decocker. You can, you can basically... This thing is cocked now. You can push this, and it essentially is designed to decock the firearm. I'm not pushing it hard enough there, but um, it's designed to decock the firearm when you're trying to take the slide apart. I don't use it. I just pull the trigger. I like lock style, and, and, it, and it, it works. But let me show you. Essentially, this, this piece is locked in a horizontal fashion. So in order to get this slide off, you have to flip this lever vertical, and then it has to be decocked, okay? So the first thing first, what I have been doing, okay, and this is not a perfect science, what I've been doing is I've been racking it, basically that cocks it, and then what I do is I push this button here. You have to push this in flush with the frame in order for this to unlock and push down. It's slotted in a manner so that it only does that in a certain way. So what I've got to do is I'll, I'll get the gun this way and I'll just push in pretty good on it. And then I'll flip that lever down. Once that lever is down on this side, then I can pull the trigger. Once I pull the trigger, you see it pop forward, I can slide it off. Okay, it, there's, there's been a lot of, a lot of complaints about it being very difficult uh, for users. It's not difficult. It's actually quite easy and I believe it gets easier as it breaks in. Now, other people have com uh, commented about this piece uh, falling out. Uh, this piece is meant to go in and come out horizontally. So if you have this piece horizontally like this, uh, you can actually push it and take it straight out. It is designed, because this firearm is modular and this entire chassis or this entire system here can come out, it's basically a, a, a fire control unit, a very similar to what people see in the more predominant uh, SIG P320 series. This is the same scenario. So this pin is what also maintains this, this, this takedown pin, as well as the pin in the back. It's extremely easy to take these down. There's a little spring you have to pop up right here. Then this pin will pop right out and the entire unit will come out. And to put it back in, you just reverse the operation. So keep that in mind. It's not as difficult as people make it out to be, but um, you know, it is what it is. It can be difficult if you make it that way. Uh, it's got to have some patience. To put this back in, you just put it in horizontal just like it would sit. And you actually don't have to wiggle it. It just is designed to just, boom, snaps right back into place. Now, you're going to take this, right, pull it back just a hair, spin it down. So it's vertical, okay? I don't know if everybody can see that. That's how you put it, the firearm back together. And when you put it back together, this is going to rotate up automatically. So right now it's vertical. Everything else about this is very, very simplistic. There's plenty of videos online to look at it. I'm just trying to show some people on this one here. So I'm going to stand up and show you. So you can see that's vertical. So as you push this slide back in, this you want to keep it vertical. And it's going to lock itself back into place as you go. So when you rack it, bam, see how it popped back into place? It automatically goes. You basically, boom, function check, and she's back and ready to rock, okay? So I can't wait to get this to the range. Um, it does not have co-witness sights. They are quite low, but they are decent sights. They're metal. Uh, you got a tritium front sight. You've got a blacked out serrated rear, which I like. I'd prefer a fiber optic on the front, um, but uh, this firearm is made for kind of defensive purposes for it to an extent, so they don't put a fiber optic on front. I don't know that I'll ever use it for defensive purposes in the dark, but if I do, I'll have a flashlight, and uh, I don't think that I really will ever need the tritium for where I would have this firearm. Uh, but anyhow, it is what it is. So, uh, dual, dual sided slide lock and release, right, for right and left handers ambidextrous magazine release can be placed on the other side it's got a great little little flare here at the bottom for for the pinky catcher 
and I'm telling you the grip is extremely well textured uh, as you can see all the way around it's very nicely textured you got a little texture a little horizontal cuts in front of the trigger guard there so the farm itself is very nice it feels very very well built very well made it's tight it's got a really tight lockup uh, it's beefy so keep that in mind um, this is just a like I say a quick rundown of this guy right now I want to tell you guys that man they got a smoking deal right now going on at Beretta they got rebates on them and I'm not sponsored by anybody I buy these with my own money as I always tell everybody and when I see something I like or dislike I'll tell you about it because nobody owns me I own it all right so no brand owns me I own the brand and uh, because I bought it with my own money so um, I will tell you that the trigger on this firearm for my liking is a little bit heavy but you have to remember it is a combat trigger and uh, it's designed that way and it's designed for combat and defensive carry so it's a little bit heavy uh, it's mine is right at just a shade over six pounds I'm hoping it'll lighten up a little bit as I fire this guy and put a few thousand rounds through it and hopefully it'll wear in a little bit which I expect it to but I don't expect it to go down a whole lot I believe that um, over time there will be more upgrades available out there that come that come about that will help uh, maybe get that trigger pull a little lighter but I can tell you that it has a great so it's got the same trigger safety but it's got a great great movement and wall so it goes here bam very small movement as you can see there's the wall and then click right reset back very tactile and audible. Bam, a little bit of creep and done. So I'm gonna leave the rest up to you guys. This is just a quick a quick uh, overview. Does have a trigger return spring, so it's really good for practice and dry fire because it never it doesn't stay back like your Glock triggers. It actually pops back no matter what. So that, that gives a nice option. And uh, it also comes with multiple back straps. I have the smallest one on here, so I get the, the flattest profile grip in the back. They also have a, the next two, which is your middle size and your larger hump size. And uh, very easy to change that out. Take the grip off, push the pin over, pull it out. Or excuse me, take the slide off, push the pin over, pull it out. Stick the grip back on, put the pin back in, it snaps into place, put your slide back in. Uh, very simple. Everything about this gun is, is very simple. You got a lot of people claiming the difficulties online, and uh, I don't know if those folks really either. Well, I'm not going to say anything. I'll just keep my mouth shut, right? If you don't have anything nice to say, keep it to yourself. I can tell you it's very simple to disassemble and put back together. Just takes a little attention to detail. That's all, and uh, that's 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 what I try to impress upon. It's very intuitive as far as the aiming. Um, I'm looking forward to shooting it. I think it's going to be a great firearm. I'll get back to you with a range report at a later date. But uh, for now, that's where I'm at. My, my only real dislike is the weight of the trigger, but that's not really a dislike. That's just uh, inconvenience and something that I expect to get better over time. And, and as uh, more uh, upgrades and accessories come out for this, as it is the newer newer model in that line and it is a Beretta so you don't get a lot of accessories in the US but hopefully more will come out incidentally hey just remember right here what people have all said is true these these screws here holding down your optics cover plate uh, they come in extremely tight I had to be very careful breaking them free uh, they are locked tight and in at least mine were I had to be very careful breaking them free they were very tight uh, so be cautious of that and understand that you need to be careful don't just try and gorilla that thing off and open and and loosen up those screws because you're taking a chance on stripping them and then you got to take them to a gunsmith and get them drilled out I didn't I used the right size tool that's very important to use the right size hex wrench all right these are metric use the right size hex wrench and just be cautious on how you don't don't just gorilla it just sit there and put you some good solid tension on it and slowly add more tension making sure that hex wrench is fully seated and if you got to put a little heat on it put a little heat on it do what you got to do to break them free without stripping them and losing your patience and then you find yourself spending unnecessary dollars at a gunsmith all right folks it's it's that simple with these firearms 
do things the right way, most times things will come out on the positive end for you. Do them the wrong way and get and get impatient. Uh, you can blame everybody, but uh, just remember when you're having to spend that extra money and you're pointing your finger at everybody else, there's three pointing back at you. Anyhow, all right, folks, uh, that's what I got. Uh, for those of you that like this video, please share it, like, and subscribe. If you have questions about this, uh, please ask. I'll try to answer anything I can. If you don't like the video, let me know. If you don't like my opinion, let me know. It's cool. I, I don't have to agree with you, and you don't have to agree with me, but uh, we all have opinions, and, and I like to give mine. If you want to give yours, start making videos. All right, Cannonball Cats, I'm on a budget Texas, signing off. God bless you. God bless Texas. God bless America. I'm just catch you on the other side. Take care.